Hi guys, today I will share with you six tips and tricks to master anatomy and to get better grades. Welcome to Motivation Medicals. I am Dr. Noor Saira from Dentistry with Noor Saira. I'm a practicing endodontist. I finished my undergraduate about eight years ago and I have taught my college in every academic year and in every subject. I have about 11 gold medals and 30 awards to my credit. Today I'll be sharing my experience on how we can learn anatomy in a more productive way. Let's move on to my first tip that is you have to master and understand the first few chapters of anatomy as they form the foundation of the entire subject. For example, the first few chapters will help you understand the anatomical terms like medial and lateral, anterior, posterior, superior, inferior, plantar, dorsal. Also, it will help you understand the anatomical planes like those of coronal, sagittal or transverse which will orient you to the anatomical language that is repeated over and over again along the subject. Mastering these first few chapters and these terminologies will help you learn and understand anatomy in a more productive and less exhaustive way. Let's move on to tip number two that is read, watch and read. Now what do I need to say here is that continuous reading can be mentally exhausting. So what you need to do or my suggestion is that you read a topic from the material that is available to you once completely from end to end. Now this will help you develop a mental picture in your mind. You take about 5 to 10 minutes break, you go back to watching a video from YouTube on the same topic. Now this will not only help you reinforce the information in your mind but also this will be less mentally exhausting as you're using alternative techniques to learn. You take another 5 to 10 minutes break and you go back to your material and now you learn the same subject or the same topic in parts. And this will not only help you retain the information better but also this will be less mentally exhausting. Let's move on to tip number 3 that is make notes. If you are someone who loves to read from two or three textbooks or two or three materials or if it is necessary for you to read from two or three textbooks like a PPT or, or, or from uh, another material, now it is important that you make notes as this will not only save time in the future but you will also have a concise matter from two or three different materials in one place. Let's move on to tip number four. Now, tip number four is that you make memorization tactics that will help you develop a mental picture. For example, that is while making your notes, make the use of flow charts. Now, for example, if you're trying to learn a pathway of a nerve, you would write down the pathway in the form of a flow chart. Or if you're trying to learn the branches of an artery, like that of an arch of an outer, you draw a flow chart which will help you develop a good mental picture in your mind and it will be easier for you to recollect in your exam. Another way is that you draw colorful diagrams and this is very important even though not very fancy diagrams but you can use different colors for example red for an artery and blue for a vein and associate a flowchart along with these diagrams so this it's easier for you to recollect in your exams. Another easy way of learning is to use mnemonics where you can learn certain difficult things like that of an order of a cranial nerve. Now the order of a cranial nerve can be learned like this and the mnemonic is OOO to take a family vacation, go Vegas and Hawaii. So you can create mnemonics like this for everything that you're finding difficult to learn. Similarly, you can also learn which nerve is sensory and which nerve is motor in, in this order of uh, cranial nerves like that like like that it says some say marry money but my father says big brain matters most so now you know which is sensory and which is motor and all the order of the cranial nerves and this will make your learning more productive because you're easily able to reproduce in the exam let's move on to tip number five that is learn like you're teaching somebody else what I mean to say is that you keep a whiteboard and marker handy and whenever you have free time you can always draw and learn like you're teaching the class. Now this technique really helped me a lot to reinforce in my mind the confusing details of anatomy and also is a confidence booster. Let's move on to tip number six that is revision is the key. Now the first day when you make the notes 
you take about two hours to jot down the details from two or three different materials to make your flowcharts, to draw the diagrams and to have a concise matter in one place. However, when you go back the next day, it might take you about just 20 minutes to revise the entire thing. You go back the next day, it takes about only 10 minutes for you to revise the whole thing. Now, revision is the only key that will help you save time and reinforce all the confusing areas of anatomy, but also it will help you develop a mental picture of all the diagrams, the flowcharts, and the mnemonics that you have made. Most importantly, it saves a lot of time and it's a confidence booster and helps you develop better grades. I hope this video was beneficial for you. For more such videos, you can visit my channel Dentistry with No Cider, where I also upload educational videos on dentistry. Thank you for watching.